like a guillotine Yo, 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 it is your boy Joker from East and East West. Yes, that's right, man. I am doing an old school comic call. That's right, guys, man. Uh, I feel like this is uh need to be brought back in the community, man. I mean, you know, this, I know there's still people doing it, you know, but I, I'm just, you know, I felt so far from doing my whole videos and showing guys, you know, people, you know, my books, my pickups or whatever um, throughout the, what is it, a year and a half since I've done a video? That, you know, I, I feel like I needed to come back, man, and, and do it. You know, I've seen uh, a couple of people have been doing it. Broski, um, Doom, um, David Sicken and Man, you know, and so on or whatever, you know. And, and it kind of, like, inspired me to come back and do it again. You know, not just do the live whole, I mean, the live show uh, for East Meets West. So, I'm back doing this, starting the new year fresh. So, uh, let's, let's, let's do this, man. I got a few books to talk about here, man. Uh, first book, um, well, first set of books I, I'm going to show is going to be for my fellow New York Warriors and um, AOKs and uh, let me see throughout the other videos. Uh, AOK throughout the community. Um, Josh, uh, we kind of did a trade. Uh, what else? Uh, and some purchases I did online. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's. Uh, do I have a trade from Josh? I, I might show that in a different whole video. Uh, I don't know, sure. But let's start this off right, man. Uh, glad to do this. It's already been in and a half, already talking, yapping. Uh, but yeah, man, back on this, man. First set, of, well, first book, I should say, uh, that I'm showing off is, um, a purchase from New York Comic Con. And shout out to my boy e -Rod, man. Uh, he was the only one that was going that I knew, uh, that I knew was going to New York, or, I mean, New York Comic Con. And, uh, I really wanted this book. I wanted another book too, but it ended up, you know, Selling out so fast, I couldn't pick it up. But I did get this one here, the Joe Jusco. I think it's the Comic Mint exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the Joe Jusco Spider Man uh, cover there, man. Awesome cover there. And I think he's been doing these recent covers for the uh, Masterpiece for Marvel, if I'm not mistaken, I guess. So, yeah, this is the you know, Comic Con one. Awesome cover there. Beautiful cover. Alright. Next up is. Uh, Nice AOK -okay from Manny, man. You know, Manny's, you know, always looking out. Uh, he's been doing a lot of these WWE covers that he's been picking up. Uh, and, you know, I'm a fellow, you know, I, li I like those, picking up those covers. Yeah, all see my Bret Hart, um, 1 in 25, um, Boom Studio. I think it's your number two, if I'm mistaken. Um, if I have time, I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, but he did AOK -okay me this one. Um, and shout out to Manny for that. He didn't have to. Here we got the Roddy Rick Piper. Awesome. Uh, I do see, like, I don't know what that is, white out or whatever on the bottom. I have to see if I could get that out. Just right there. Whoop. There we go. It's been so long. Look at that. Yeah, but yeah, man, awesome cover there. Dope, dope, dope cover. And uh, keeping up with Manny, man, uh, I know, uh, what is it, a few auctions ago, uh, he was selling these books. And uh, it, it shout out to uh, Jose Gonzalez, man. He a -OK me this. He purchased these and a -OK it to me. Uh, for many, um, so he got these books, and this was the set of books. Uh, it's about like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine books. All right, uh, let me just take this off here. And, uh, nine books. I saw these. I was like, oh, this is awesome, man. I didn't have this one here, man. TMNT. Um, this is from the Archie Adventure series. Uh, this is issue. What is this issue? I don't even know what issue this is. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was just a given right here. I, I wasn't really trying to go for this one, even though I do collect a Team NT, but just not, you know, wasn't wasn't going for this one, man. Uh, it was these set of books here. Uh, these Ghostbusters set. Uh, here we have Slimer. Issue number four. I didn't have none of these Slimers. Issue number seven. Uh, and these are nice condition too, man. These are nice, nice condition here. Uh, eight. And these are from Now Comics. Uh, from the 80s. And this issue nine. 
Extra 15. And issue 16. Uh, yeah, so I didn't have these, uh, but I did want these two books. Uh, these were the books that I wanted from that, and I, I threw a bit, bit on the, the auction, but Jose Gonzalez just beat me. And um, shout out to him for doing that. Uh, where's the, was, let me see, these books here. And I got books everywhere, guys, excuse me. Uh, this one here is um, from the miniseries The Real Ghostbusters here, in issue number one, spectacular first issue. Uh, this one was pretty cool. I uh, didn't have that one, and uh, the one that I wanted was this 3D one, the Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters, spectacular 3D special. That one was pretty badass. Uh, came with a 3D, you know. So, and shout out to Jose, man, Spidey Power Thomas. Y'all already know, man. Uh, great dude, man. Uh, keep we always mention him, and you know, it's a friend of the show. Uh, yeah. So, shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for this. I uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, next set of books, man. Next set of books is going to be from... If you go... If you um, watch um, Big's... Um, if you, you know familiar with the New York Warriors, and you saw the video that was me, Manny, uh, Eli, and Big's... Were, we went to Big's house, and we graded uh, some... You know, we pre-graded some books, you know, to see how they were, and, you know. And we submitted it to CGC. And to see, you know, we'll see. We compare our grades to the grades they come back, right, from CGC. Uh, but, you know, while we was doing that, you know, after we did that, uh, we, me and Manny and uh, Eli, we just rated Big's uh, collection. And we just went through his books. And then we just... And, yeah, we went through his books and, we, you know, we just purchased some books or whatever. And Big's, you know how he is, man. He gave the brother deal. He gave the family deal. And um, this one was a throw-in. And shout out to him, man. Uh, I do collect uh, some Sabrina. And this is a Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Uh, this cover is done by Robert Hack. And I think this is uh, from issue 6 to 8, if I'm not mistaken. 6 to 8. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 6 to 8. Uh, for that. Six, issue 6 to 8. Uh, picked that one up, man. Next book I picked up was um a nice cover book here of Amazing Spider-Man issue number 19. But this is from Volume 2, guys. <laughs> this is not a Silver Age. Uh, and, well, Legacy issue 460. Look at that. You know, I'm trying to be organized. I write my, my, my little notes in the back, man. You know what I mean? Uh, so this is a nice cover by Eric Larson there. Yeah, so I picked that one up. Dope cover there. I had to pick that up. And all these books, man, um, you know, they're in good condition. Some of them are, you know, a little beat up. You'll see, you know, which ones are beat up, I mentioned. Uh, but the next book here I picked up was, uh, what I bought from him was uh, Batman 441. I thought I didn't have this. I, I thought I didn't have this one. Uh, yeah, there's George Perez copy here, 441. But I did have it. I did have it, and, yeah, it was my bad. But still, you know, dude, you know, I'll tell you how much I paid for all these books uh, that I got from Biggs after I finish showing them. Um, yeah, so, yeah, 441. I think this is, like, the first glimpse of uh, that memorial case for Jason Todd. You know, they show the, you know, Robin suit with the mask and stuff like that. Uh, dope. George Perez cover, more Wolfman story. And uh, I think I confused this one, I think, with 400 that I needed, I think, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got to go through my, my Batman collection. Next book I have here, you know, then this is a Silver Age, man. And, um, I, you know, I like collecting, you know, these, you know, Silver Age Batman and Superman's, uh, I mean, Batman and Joker covers. Uh, here I have World Finest issue number 166. Uh, I think it's a Kurt Swan cover. Uh, just a dope Batman Joker cover here. And, uh, I think it's the first appearance of the future Joker, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. The uh, future Modu. Joker team, uh, yeah, just a dope, dope cover there. Awesome Silver Age cover. Uh, and then we go keeping on with um, the Batman theme here. Here, uh, this is about like a. I put up with that like fine minus, yeah. And uh, shout out to Big Man, you know, selling me his my likes and full bags too with this. Uh, we got Batman three fourteen, three fourteen. Uh, yes, three fourteen. All right. Um, 
what was his name? I keep forgetting. Now I'm thinking about 313. Uh, Lucius Fox son first appearance. Uh, Luke Fox, I think it is, right? Luke Fox uh, issue 313. This is the one. The issue after that, dope. Um, Two Face cover. Uh, you know, I think it's a George. I mean George. Um, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez cover. If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to say. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, didn't write it down. Shame on me. Um, but yeah, pick that one up too from Biggs. Shout out to you, Biggs, for that. Uh, next book right here, we're going on with Detective. Detective Comics issue number 407. 407 here. And uh, this one here is a nice new Adams cover. And this one here, uh, I graded it at a good. It has, it has issues. Um, this is the third appearance of Man Bat and the first She Bat. First Man Bat there, man. Awesome new Adams cover there. You know, so. Um, Dope. Until I get my um, Detective 400 first man bat, and that'll be that'll be that, that that'll be that's a nice placeholder I should say. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let me see one more book after this one. Uh, here we have Batman uh, Silver Age. We're going with Silver Age, man. Batman issue 138, 138, man. Uh, this one here, you know, I graded at a fine from what I was looking at. Uh, it has some chipping on the cover, uh, you know. I'm looking at it now. Me more or less. Uh, like a fine minus. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Well, never mind. Maybe a good. <laughs> but anyway, nonetheless, man. I, I'm I'm just a Batman guy, and, and I, you know, when it comes to Silver Age, I'm gonna collect them. Um, and I didn't have this one here, man. Uh, and do those Batman Silver Age detectives and any DC covers? I think they were kind of like a little bit off, like a little weird. Like with these fantasy covers with dragons and stuff like that on the cover. And this is one of them. Uh, and this is Batman 138. Um, yeah. A Bill Finger story. Sheldon Moldov. Oh, I don't think it's uh, the, 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 the interiors in this one. Uh, in, the, in the cover. Uh, and next up is the last book I purchased from Biggs in his collection. Uh, you already know, man. It, it, I'm a Batman guy, so I'm continuing with it. And this one here is a uh, VF Plus. Um... This is a uh, new 52 Batman. This is Batman um, 21. This is second printing. Uh, it's not gonna stand up there, but I'll hold it right there. Uh, this is the second printing. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, the first Duke Thomas. Um, as you know, uh, yeah, uh, just, I have the first printing, and I think I have the the, the what is it? Digital um, the bonus? No bonus. What is it? The, the digital pack. There you go. Um, so yeah, all these right here, guys. Uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just throw it, right? All these for twenty dollars, guys. So yeah, you know, Bigs, you the man, looking out, man, and that's the homie, man. Uh, I appreciate you letting us just ransack the collection, bro. Uh, and I'm sure Manny, you know, he, he showed off his books that he got from the bigs. Uh, next set of books I purchased was online, guys. Online. Uh, yeah, online. Yes, yes, yes. These two books I didn't have. Uh, and shout out to the Doom, man. Listen, man, every time I see the Doom and I see, he, you know, he's a cover guy, a variant guy. He loves collecting these books. I saw this one here and I was on board. And, and when it comes to Lionheart, uh, I don't have the first appearance. Uh, Ironheart. I said Lionheart. Ironheart. Uh, this uh, right here. It's just a badass cover, man. Here I have Champions number one, the Outlaw, the recent uh, series that came out for Champions. I don't think it's like three or four series already. And I've been, you know, I've been. If you have been listening with East East East, East West, I've been talking about Champions. I, I really think that's a a good like. These are good books to you know. Just, you know, spec on or whatever. I, I'm just me personally. This is my preference. Uh, since I don't have all of their first appearances, um, you know, next best thing is you know, you know, a team, a team like the Avengers, you know, and um, that's exactly what the champions are. Uh, so this is just a badass cover. Um, number one Marvel Zombie, um, Marvel Zombies variant that came out this past year. Um, it's just a dope, dope cover, man. I, I really like it. Awesome. And then uh, it was a two-book deal I got here online, just to save on shipping. 
uh, wanting to me see my time, looking at my time, just making sure, you know, I'm doing all right, man. Um, so here we got uh, God of War, Fallen Gods, issue number four, man. And this book right here, uh, me and Josh, you know, I mean, Josh, you know, mentions it. This is a dope ass Del Delato cover. Uh, this is a book I feel like, you know, not too many people, you know, been picking up on it. And, and just, you know, God of War is one of those books. Look at the God of War issue number one, first appearance God of War. Um, how, how much is it going for that first printing and the, and the second printing? Uh, going for crazy man and just th th this is just one of those covers it's just like wow keep an eye out uh it's not a book it's it's not the book it's not like like doom says uh it's like a book though you know it's a dope ass god of war and i don't think many of these were printed i don't think um because i mean who's reading god of war fallen god i mean i mean i wasn't but just a lot of you know just it's awesome cover you know Alright, so let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Alright, next set of books. And shout out to Mighty Mel V, man, from Drunken Chat. Son, you boy. Uh, I saw him post this up on IG, and I just had to get this, man. Um, this is about like a few months ago. I picked this up about, I think, say October. Since I'm in October. Um, I picked this one up. Uh, bought it from. A Canadian seller and came to me really quick man uh, here I have um, the amazing spider-man uh, issue number one and this is the photo um, cover of uh, the amazing spider-man movie with Andrew Garfield uh, not not a hard book not an easy book to find either though uh, and not relatively expensive but it's just you know it was one of those books I was like yeah I saw it I was like yeah I, I gotta get it man you know uh, especially now that Andrew Garfield, I don't know how much these are going now, but I picked up another copy there. Uh, that one right there, the second copy came with the issue number. That's one of two, and this is two of two. All right, sweet covers there, man. Uh, do I have time? I could, you know what? Let's try to make this under twenty, man. Under twenty minutes. All right. Uh, so shout out to Mighty for those, man. Um, and the next set of books. I've purchased online also. Um, doom, 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 doom. All right. All right. I purchased these set of books, man, online also. Um, and uh, this one here was just a. This was here is a, just a. Well, it wasn't a throw in, but I just wanted to just add something to just, you know, say one shipping. It was cheap. I think we got it for like $3, if I'm mistaken. Under $5. Um, dope, dope. Uh, Jim Chung. Um, cover of Fantastic Four, issue number 426, 526, excuse me, um, just dope, dope cover, you know, and, uh, yeah, when it comes to Fantastic Four, you know, I try to collect it, it's just a lot of issues, man, to, to catch up on, um, and I got these for these set of books here, man, uh, Zodiac, Dark Reign of Zodiac, issue number three, uh, nice set that I picked up under, I think, $10, I think it was, uh, two or three, this is when it was hot, when everybody was specking, uh, you know, Zodiac, you know, since he's in the Moon Knight, he appeared on the Moon Knight, um, series right now on, on com in comics, and the first appearance of Zodiac right there, uh, number one, uh, I just picked it up. On the $10, I felt like, you know, you know, I felt like it was a good deal, you know? Uh, so yeah, pick that one up there. Uh, let's see, uh, then, yes, yes. I saw these. Shout out to my man UniX, and I picked up a couple of these, man. Uh, I had to pick this up, but it, it, this is not the book here. I'm about to show you. Uh, this is here. Just a, it was a free throw-in. Uh, Dark Rain New Nation cover artist is done by uh, Daniel Lacuna, and right this is just a throw-in. You know what I mean? So, uh, but this is the book right here that I'm about to show you right now from uh, what I saw from uh, my man UniX. Uh, I didn't have this, and I love Doom covers, stock Doom covers. Here I have uh, another Daniel Kuno cover here. Uh, Dark Green, the Cabal. The Cabal. You know, so uh threw that up there. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, I just picked that one up, and I picked up another copy. about that, man? Just a dope-ass stock Doom cover. You know what I mean? 
Uh, and then the last book I'm going to show off in this one here before I sign off is going to be uh, shout out to my man Uncle Roman. Uh, you know, Roman Curtis, man. Here I have Fantastic Four issue number 15. The first appearance of the Mad Thinker. Just a dope Kirby cover, Stanley story, guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's beat up. But hey, listen, man, I'm collecting. I'm trying to do the 1 through 100 with Fantastic Four. Wish me luck on the issue number 1, but I have them. You know, I, I have this one here, issue number 15. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's my whole video, man. I want to see I'm back. Do this, man. Uh, trying to do more of these. Uh, uh, look out for them. You know what I mean. So just make sure if you like this, make sure you like, subscribe uh, to the channel, and make sure you check out our show on East Meets West every other Sundays, guys. Um, and our FOC with CBSI that we do with Josh, and some things that we're working on in 2022, man. Um, so happy New Year, everybody, man. Uh, thanks for watching, and check out to the next time, man. Later.